Hi, and welcome back to a Play Basic Live update. Um, there's two things I want, I want to have a look at uh, quickly in this update, and one revolves around the addition of uh, command usage links in source code blocks. Let's go find one. Um, here we go. So, this is a newer feature. Now the styling is still the ugly old site. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, we've got our code highlighted here. Play basic, so it's syntax highlighted for the viewer so we can tell what these are. But at the bottom now we have this this new idea where we have a list of the commands used in this snippet. So we click on the command, it takes us to the help file directly about that command. That's all we want to talk about, really. Um, the website stuff's still a bit of a mess. We've got a bunch of things to do with it, but that's a thing. So, sorry, that's a feature I've always wanted to add with the help files we're online, and we'll add more of those things as we can find the time and we can fit them into the website. Okay, so the other news is there's a new version of Play Basic. I think I referred to it as 165D. It's actually tagged as 165C. Has only very minor changes to the previous uh, revision. Uh, we have a couple of new additions. We've got a get length, which is a, a distance function pretty much. It's the equivalent of this here. Now, on a modern system, what you notice is that they pretty much run about the same speed. Not that surprised, to be honest. Um, some of these expressions get shortcut anyway by the older, well, the current compiler. Uh, by shortcut, I mean they get they get turned into a single operation anyway. I'm not sure if that pattern is caught, but there are patterns like that that it does catch. Um, and the reason for that is running single operations that do multiple things is actually quicker than doing a lot of smaller things. Um, generally. Not all the time, but generally. So we've got a 2D version of the length operation, a 3D version of that. So, I mean, normally if you're doing this, you'd have... Well, if you just wanted the length, you you'd find you'd be, you'd be squaring all squaring each component of the vector and then getting a length of it uh, but we've got just a new function called get length 3d it does the same thing on on the laptop here it runs about the same as they run about the same performance um, the big difference really is when you run them on the older systems around the house where you get a magnitude of pretty much twice as quick, pretty much. But you can't always be guaranteed by that. Certain, certain sequences of instructions will run better on certain processes. It's just how it goes. So we've got a, a couple of length functions here. I can do, here we're computing the distance manually and then comparing it to do, doing a, a distance calculation, the internal one. So this operation here is the equivalent of what this here does. So we've got two vectors, just use the distance function. Uh, also change the point, some of the other uh, functions there as well. Point and box has been updated. And there's a point in circle been updated and circles intersect. Enough of me blathering on, let's just run the example and see how we go. Now I can't really test this against the old version because those functions don't exist in older versions of PB. Uh, when I compare the two versions before, um, I can turn those off in the example. I can switch off the, new, the newer tests so we just don't run the tests that do uh, get length 2D, 3D. There's, there's a dot product fun function in there as well. Certain people might find that useful. Uh, 
basically what we're talking about here is that we're running pretty much a second faster than what we were before. And that, that's the main takeaway. We've gained a bit, a bit of extra performance by doing nothing really. Sounds cool to me. I think that really is going to conclude our little update. So we've got the the new website stuff is uh, progressing. The styling and stuff in you now it looks pants. I know that. I get that. Right. Styling is not my thing. If you if you're good with uh, doing CSS styling and layouts, then hit us up. You know um, that would be very helpful. Or if you want to just do some styling. These, these elements here I mean go for your life you can just grab the, the code out of there play with it yourself and then just send me a, a, an updated version if you want and I'll slot it in uh, but I'm pretty happy with that so you, it just gives you a list of all the commands used within the example and you can just jump straight to them that should be a real time save for, for people who are wondering what these things are doing because at the moment you can't do a search through the help files uh, with the update here of PlayBasic 165C3 I think it's tagged uh, we've got the faster math functions and a couple of bug fixes um, one was to do with a screen mode on startup that was being not handled properly. So in modern systems, they don't really have old 16-bit full screen modes anymore. So some of the older examples would fail because the it's trying to open a, a display that no longer exists in modern systems. So there, what it does now is it goes, is if it's asking for a 16-bit screen, what it, what it used to do is it used to drop from, drop from 16-bit down lower try and find a depth that was accessible but now it just starts with 32-bit if the 16-bit default uh, that you've selected doesn't exist it goes okay let's try for 32 for 24 16 if they all fail you can't open this mode I think it just defaults to window mode then so at least they should run um, you might have some weird sizing problems here or there because the window could be anywhere. But it's better at work than they just crashed flat out. Alrighty, I think, I think that'll do us for today. Uh, thanks for listening. And if you need the updates, they'll be on the forums, etc. And hopefully then you, I'll revise the um, online version of playbasic.com within the next day or so, the next couple of days. And if you've got some styling tips, then send them our way because I hate styling. Uh, that'd be very helpful. Stay cool, guys, and I uh, hope you have a nice time, and I'll see you next time. Bye.